What's up, guys? Justin here from Wisconsin Bassin. Pretty tired right now, so kind of chillaxing. But um, right now, I just want to show you my uh, kind of my makeshift Alabama rig. Me and uh, me and Kyle made one, and this is it right here. And in Wisconsin, you can only have three lures with hooks in them, technically. So basically, they count as you know they count the three uh, mini bait fish you're gonna have on there. You, you know your um. Uh, your bait fish, basically your, um, well, I got, I completely just lost the word. <sighs> I can't even think of the word, whatever. Um, your bait fish impersonator, that's what I'm looking for, impersonator. Your bait fish impersonator, obviously you have your, uh, your hook in there. And so Wisconsin, the DNR, they count that as, you know, one of your lures in the water and you can have three at a time. So pretty much here in Wisconsin, we're limited to three. So, but... A lot of people like you see I just did here put a spinner bait a spinner bait blade on the back which uh, has a little more you know shine and gives off some glare but um, basically what we did is we got we got some epoxy like here whoop. we got some epoxy and um yeah pretty much we just cut off a chunk about uh, half an inch roughly and we kind of squeezed it together in our hands and then we've morphed it basically into an oval and then we took we took bottom bouncers and the um, the wire uh, the wire rods that stick out of both ends we basically cut them off and then we took the ends and we kind of curled them like we kind of let me see if I can find an example here really quick we um so let's see here um I don't really have the greatest example in the world, but here, we'll use this for now. So, basically, let's say that this is your bottom bouncer wire. Okay, straight. We took the end of it, and we bent it with a pair of pliers. Like this. We kind of bent it so it's at that downward angle, kind of like that. It's kind of a bad example right here. I'm sorry, but you get the point. It was kind of like you get the point. Instead of being straight like this, the one part just kind of um, wow. I can't even do it with my fingers. I'm sorry. I feel really bad right now because I can't give give you guys a proper example. Here, I guess I can just draw it out for you guys. So basically what we did is normally it's straight. Like that, right? You know, and it's just a straight wire. We took it and we took the top and we bent it down. Kind of like that. So then when you put three of them together, it kind of acts like a treble hook. Or it kind of forms into the shape of one. And when we stick it into the... Uh, the epoxy they kind of all interlock and it holds much better and I mean it works pretty good and you know, I haven't tested out yet or anything but it's pretty sturdy you know the wires uh it's kind of malleable but you know it's like it's just bottom mounts wire so it's kind of supposed to be and I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to be for Alabama rigs so but and then um with this epoxy we took it we put it in a vise and that's how you kind of see that diamond pattern on there and we flatten it and you're you're able to drill through this and you're gonna make the eye basically where you tie your line to it so I have nothing as of now to put on the ends here but I'm hoping to catch a lot of fish in the spring because uh, I've heard that it works the best in um, cold water so well we might have a video up on how we made it so if you really want some tips you can go there I guess but we're kind of debating on that and um other than that yeah oh here i'll go a little bit uh more in depth on my um my new rig that i bought again this was that uh that loose speed spool i mean you know andrew our buddy has one and it's pretty nice i fished with it you know i just got a a 6.4 to 1 they have it in a 7.0 i'm pretty sure i think it's 7.0 but I just stuck with the 6.4 because I'm looking for something kind of for crankbaits, spinnerbaits, chatterbaits, which I have rigged right now. 
got a Berkeley Havoc uh, grass pig on the back of that nice little trailer but um, I got the 6.4 because you can do a little bit more with it than just crankbaits I know you want a slow ratio but that's just you know how I roll I'm kind of a budget angler so one rod has multiple uses um, this rod I got right now is a GSX tournament it's a seven foot medium heavy but it's so so flexible I mean it's more like a medium which is good because I like that and you want that for crankbaits and buzzbaits I mean uh, spinner baits you know what I mean because it's like they need that uh, sorry excuse me there they need that extra little give in case you t uh, set the hook too fast it'll kind of let the fish suck it more into its mouth so but uh, I do have a plan for the summer I want to get another rig I'm uh, hoping to get a um another Shimano Corrado and throw that on a um mojo bass it's gonna be a heavy it's gonna be a my flipping stick pretty much and then i have some punching gear i bought some tungsten and you know some heavy cover hooks and whatnot and hopefully i can start flipping you know flipping some more this year punching and just try some new techniques really anxious to get in the new year it's ridiculous man i mean i literally just sit around and watch fishing videos and i just get super hyped up and i'm so mad that it's like in wisconsin our winter to this year it's pretty bad so I'm really disappointed because it's like I can't even sorry about that I can't even go ice fishing because it's like yeah it's cold to where it can make ice and then there's like a small like sheet of ice over the lake and but it's not big enough to go ice fishing you know what I mean so it's not even like I can do any type of fishing just torture <sighs> god I swear when I get older I'm gonna go move to a state like Florida or Texas or something like that where there's no like there's no four seasons just pretty much warmer weather all year round so other than that, it's about what's going on. It's pretty boring here in Wisconsin when the winter months hit. So, I'll give you guys another video. Hopefully soon I get my new rig. And other than that, that's about it. See you guys.